Hey there Stampers, welcome to day seven of my 12 days of Christmas YouTube series or video series. Um, my name is Sherry Roth. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. And today I've got this, a version of this fun little gold pizza box to share with you. This makes for a great, you can use it as a gift card holder or you can use it to put little treats in it. If you make homemade chocolates, it would be cute to add those in there. I have some little Merci chocolates in this one. Um, and then the belly band just slides off. So they can actually, the receiver can actually just turn around and reuse it as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. It's a really simple project to put together. So we have these fabulous gold pizza boxes um, in our holiday catalog. You can also pick them up in white in our regular annual catalog as well. And they are so simple to put together and you don't even need any adhesive. So basically you just fold along all of the lines that are scored, just like this. I apologize, there's probably a bunch of glare coming off of that light as well. And then just pop this up like this. And then this piece comes up and these little tabs tuck into these little holes at the bottom. So that goes, oh, I gotta pop out these pieces too. There are some little pieces that need to be popped out. So that goes down like that, that goes over, and that just notches in like that. Now at this point, you can add a little bit of adhesive right here if you want to make sure that the box holds its shape. But once it's closed, there really isn't any issue with it not holding its shape. So you just tuck that in and tuck in the sides. And there you go. There's your little pizza box, little mini pizza box. So cute. Okay, so our box is assembled. Now we can go ahead and start stamping. Um, so what I've gone ahead and I've done is I've cut the largest circle from the layering circles dies. So the biggest regular circle and then the biggest scallop circle. So I've gone ahead and pre-cut those. They layer perfectly. So they'll layer one on top of the other. And now on the sample, I've used three different style trees, but for this particular one, I'm actually going to use just the plaid tree, but stamp it on the white cardstock, then on a piece of shaded spruce, and then um, punch one out and pop it up. So the same type of idea, but all using one tree. Um, I just kind of wanted to see what the difference was. Sometimes I like doing that with my videos is I'll create a sample and then just tweak it a little bit so that you guys can pick and choose which one you prefer. Uh, oh, let's grab my Stamp and Pierce mat. I like to use this mat when I use photopolymer stamps just to make sure I get a nice, good impression especially when it's just a, an image that's a little bit more bold. Oh, I love that so much. I love plaid. So now I'm gonna do it on a piece of shaded spruce cardstock. And then I'll use the coordinating tree punch and punch it out. Now this is very subtle, it's tone on tone, but by stamping first, you can turn it over upside down and see to punch it out. And then we're gonna do one on some white cardstock and punch it out as well. I'm gonna close this up so that I don't get ink all over everything. I will have all of the supplies listed below with a link to my online shop if you wanted to make a purchase and you are in Canada. I would love that. I'm grateful for all, all of you who shop from me. Okay, so now I'm going to layer my pieces. This green one is going to go on flat. So I'll just use a little bit of Tombow And then 
this guy is going to get popped up using dimensionals. And let's put them up a little bit higher. There we go. This bottom bit is going to get covered over anyway, so I'm not too worried about how that looks. And then this is going to go on to our scallop circle, just in the center so you can just see those scallops peeking out. And then we're going to stamp our greeting. So I've got a half inch strip of Whisper White cardstock and I'm gonna take the greeting that says, may this special season be wrapped in love and joy. It's from the Perfectly Plaid stamp set, which is also where this tree comes from. Just ink it up with some cherry cobbler and stamp it right down on here. I think I may have stamped it a bit crooked. Let's fix that. I don't know if this piece is wide enough. I might have to cut a little bit wider. Oh, it might be okay, let's see. Nope, we need it a little bit. I think it must need to be about three eighths of an inch. So I will just grab this scrap, move this out of the way, grab my paper trimmer, and half inch, half inch isn't quite big enough. Was that half an inch? Yeah, so we want five eighths, not three eighths, sorry. Five eighths of an inch. There we go. But that looks too wide. Okay, let's trim it. Let's do one tick smaller than five eighths. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so then we're gonna stamp this again on here. This time, hopefully I do it straight. There we go. And then that piece is going to get added to a little strip of gold foil. So I'll just add a little bit of Tombow to the bottom edge there. And I just want about an eighth of an inch showing. So just a little bit of the gold. And that will just pull some of the gold from the DSP that I'm going to use. And then I'm gonna angle cut this. And I'll trim this a little bit. Okay, and then this is gonna go on here, but first we're gonna do our belly band. Okay, so I have got, I've taken a piece of the wrapped in plaid DSP, which is a six by six paper pack. And you need a little bit longer than six inches. You need about 12 inches to go across. So I've cut two inch strips. Um, and I know it's not gonna line up perfectly and I'm not too concerned with that because um, nobody's gonna look that closely. Okay, so nobody's gonna notice that that seam isn't going to, or the pattern isn't gonna line up perfectly. I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive on here just to adhere the two pieces together. I wanna make sure it's straight. Okay, and then one of the seams will actually be covered over from the front when we put our circle on it. So I'll just line that up there and try to make sure it's straight. And I'm not using any adhesive. You don't wanna stick it on because you want this to be able to slide off. Otherwise, they're gonna to have to rip it open and you don't want that. You don't want all your work to go to waste. If I can give a gift where they can turn around and reuse the packaging, then that, that's like giving a gift within a gift, right? Okay, so I'm just going to pinch that in just a little bit, use my bone folder to make a line and do the same on this side. And then I'll fold along those lines, just like that. And I'll make sure that it's straight. So I'm just lining it up with the edge before I use my bone folder and make it nice and crisp. Like that, 
just like that. Okay, so then we'll do that again. So this is the top of the box. And then for this one, I'm actually just going to wrap it around. Because it's the bottom, I'm not too concerned with it being absolutely perfect. The other thing you wanna do is you wanna be careful not to make the belly band too tight because you want it to be able to easily slide off. So then I'm just kind of pinching and then I'll do the same thing. So I just pinch that and then I'll fold along that pinch line and make it nice and crisp, making sure that it's straight. Okay, so now we can put our box back in and we can add some adhesive on there and stick it together. So I like to add a little bit of adhesive here and then a little bit of adhesive on this side because then you've got adhesive on the inside and then also on the outside. Just make sure it's straight. And again, not too tight. You want it to slide off relatively easily. Okay, so now our box goes this way. And again, that doesn't line up, but that's okay. That's gonna get covered over. So now what I'm gonna do is I, I'm just gonna apply adhesive down the center of this because you want that to just stick to the plaid paper. So I'm just gonna go across like that and add that in the center of my box. Just like that. And then for this one, I'm going to add a dimensional on this side because it's going to be popped up. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of my Tombow to the top of this. And that's gonna be where it sticks to the tree. Oh my gosh, that is so not straight, this moved. See how that moved where it's not even? So I am just trying to peel off my dimensional so I can fix that. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, so I'm just gonna adjust it. Now I've got glue all over my finger. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. That's better. Sometimes these videos go without a hitch and then other times, not so much. You know what, I'm gonna tuck a little dimensional underneath there just to make sure that it holds that end down. And all my videos, I don't, uh, I tend not to edit them. I probably should, and maybe one day I'll start. But you get what you get. Okay, and then we have these adorable little jingle bells that coordinate with this suite. So I'm going to choose a couple of those. I think I'm going to still use red and green, just like I did, just because there's the gold on the pizza box. Don't really need more gold there. And take a piece of linen thread and feed it through. They've got nice big holes, so it's pretty easy to feed them through. And then I cut a piece so that I can tie a bow. So it's probably, I don't know, maybe 12 inches. So I'll just put the bows down to the center. And then tie a bow. And then I'll use a mini glue dot to stick it on and we'll be done. I think I'm gonna use this, my husband doesn't watch my videos so I can say this, um, for one of my husband's gifts for Christmas. I always get him a Tim card because he loves Tim Hortons. Loves, loves, loves Tim Hortons. Goes there probably twice a day, every day. So I'll just add that. Just like that. And look at that. 
cute little box. So which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the one with all the same tree? Or do you guys prefer the three different trees? I think I prefer the three different trees. It's nice to know though. It was nice to try it. Um, but I do like the variety of that one. So I'd love to hear what you guys prefer. Um, comment below and let me know which one you like better. And if you enjoyed this video, as full of flaws as it is, <laughs> be sure to hit subscribe. I'd love to have you subscri subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you have any questions, just post them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. All right, thanks so much for watching.